Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey from Be A Better Guide and today's community Q&A question is How can I, as a tour leader, build credibility before the tour even starts? Now this is a pretty common question that I get asked and secondly, I've been on a lot of tours where people are losing credibility before they even get started. So we're going to dive in right now. The first thing to be aware of is dress like you know your stuff. Did you know that in Cambodia, if you go to a tour of the famous Angkor Wat temples, every single guide is lic licensed by the government and they have to wear a pleated shirt, it needs to be ironed, it needs to be buttoned up, they need to have pleated pants, a belt, and a name tag with the official sanctioned guide association. This is their uniform, so to speak. They do this to build credibility and separate them out uh, as people of authority. Okay, okay, I hear what you're saying that, no, 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 I'm a fly fishing guide or I'm a hiking guide, this doesn't apply to me. I'm not saying that everyone needs to wear a uniform, but your dress should be professional and practical to what you're doing. However, there are some ways that you can really mess this up. Some examples of being ripped or tattered clothing, jeans with holes in them, uh, shoes that's like the thing falling off, uh, and just general unhygienic clothing stuff. So mustard stains, uh, sweat stains, like old sweat stains. The worst is really mustard stains in your sweat stain. That's, that's kind of like rock bottom, like it's, it's time to do laundry. Okay, so once you've got your mustard stains all sorted out, the second thing you can focus on is smiling. Now, as a tour guide, you're definitely expected to smile. And before you even open your mouth, people are sizing you up to see whether or not they think you're going to be a good tour leader. And having a smile on will let them know that you're friendly uh, and that you've got a good energy. Now, I'm not saying you got to go all Barbie and plaster your pearly whites, but you should have a nice, uh, pleasant, smile on your face before you're even speaking. It just comes with the territory and it's generally expected. Another way that you can lose credibility is by starting your tour late. This is such a pet peeve of mine and you know that we've all been guilty of it from time to time. But really, really make an effort to get your tour started on time or if it's a longer sort of week long or weekend type experience, if you say you're going to be there, be there and be ready to go. In other uh, episodes and other training, we'll talk about what systems you can put in place, but make sure that your tour is leaving on time, that you as a tour leader are ready to rock and roll. And that brings us to today's Q&A tweetable. Tour guides, if your shirt has mustard stains or sweat stains, it's time for laundry. If you have mustard stains in your armpit, it's time to change the way you eat hot dogs. So those are my answers today to the question, how can you lose credibility before you even start your tour? So keep that in mind and build your cred by dressing professionally, showing up on time and smiling. Okay, I'm so glad that you made it out today. If you're inspired, share that tweetable, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> you gotta get your mustard act together, dude.